It is 2021 and we are still talking about COVID. I am Olivia Mercado and I want to share with you today the importance of mindfulness in times of dire need, in times of adversity, as the times that we are living now. You see, we got COVID in 2019 and first it was like we were in disbelief, we were in denial, like nah, it can't possibly be, what is this whole thing all about? And here we are almost two years later battling, combating this global pandemic. Now, what has the invitation been? Because you see, if you are prepared, if you are a half full glass kind of person as myself, then you see an invitation in everything. There's always a lesson. There's always an invitation for us to learn something big. And the invitation that I can clearly see throughout this global pandemic is to go within. This stay at home is not just a fancy phrase. If you really consider what does home mean? Where is home? What is home anyways? Home is where your heart is. And where is your heart? It's the moment where you come back into the space of silence and you are able to shut down to the external, to all the loudness, to all of the, the noise of the external world, work, relationships, anything that demands your attention and look within and look inside. This is home, the place of silence. So today I want to talk about the importance of having a mindfulness practice throughout times of adversity, times that really require our presence and our resilience, our inner strength. You see, much of the work that I do as a holistic wellness coach is preparing people for for this precisely. It's like when you go to a gym and you know you can always exercise your muscles and how do you exercise your, your muscles? You give your muscle a small doses of resistance, right? So you essentially, you rupture the muscle and then the muscular tissue opens up a little bit and then you give it a time for it to heal. It's the same with our spiritual practice. Life will continually throw us things to work with, things to, to look at. It will constantly pose a, it will constantly give us opportunities for us to look within. And if you have a spiritual practice, then it becomes that much easier for you to take on whatever life gives you or brings your way, to take on whatever life brings your way. So here are some practices for you to consider when building a spiritual practice at home. The first is meditation. You see, there are so many meditation videos on YouTube out there, so many different tools out there. And sometimes, as I tell my clients, there is like uh, analysis paralysis. Like you have so many options out there that you're like, am I doing this right? What should I do? Is this correct or not? And so here is my one go-to tip, which is follow your breath. Meditation came to my life when I was living in Vietnam and I was in Ho Chi Minh City and I had been um, onboarded onto this school, which ended up not being quite as professional as my partner and I thought it was. And so a lot came crumbling down. Again, adversity was very evident. It was present and life was, was inviting me to discover the other side of stress. So this meditation teacher in India, Nuguru, um, he already passed, his name was Ram. Ram and I became friends. I don't know, something about him, something about the way he walked, the way he carried himself, his presence called me deeply. His energy spoke to me. And I reached out to him one day and I said, like, what do you do? And he said, well, I teach yoga and meditation. And if you were to choose, he said, I invite you to come to my meditation sessions. And so I thought, okay, I can learn yoga from anyone, but meditation, I, there is something here. And I don't know, I really can't explain it in words except for I felt called by him, by life. Maybe it was the exact timing, the exact place. And I was ready. I was curious. And my heart, my soul was needing that deep rest because I was so much in the everyday life. There was so much stress. There was so much uncertainty in my life at that moment due to work. 
And so I, I was desperately seeking for an anchor, something to ground me, something to hold on to when I had no answers to what was going on in my external world. So Ram invited me to go to this meditation session and I went in since the first time when I closed my eyes and the meditation that he proposes or he proposed because he passed away is called Anapanasati. Anapanasati means observing your breath, essentially. So I am very fond of this type of meditation because it strips away the need of any external vehicles for you to achieve that state of Zen, the state of Nirvana, mindfulness, peace, deep rest. You don't need a candle. You don't need to visualize anything. You don't need a yantra, a beautiful design, geometrical pattern. You just need your breath. So if you are alive and you're watching this, well, you're watching this because you're alive, but if you are alive, if you can breathe, that's all you need in order to try meditation in your life, to receive the gift that it is to go within, to silence your mind. So I tried meditation with Ram, and since the first time I was hooked, I thought, wow, what is this feeling that I have of deep connection? That's what I felt. I felt that somehow my mind could go to deep rest, and I somehow felt like, if you've ever used a, there are these machines, I remember when I was going to school, when I was little, and these, these stapler machines, and the stapler has, well, it's the stapler, but then there's a portion of it that helps to remove the staples. So it's a, like a two-in-one kind of tool. And that's what I felt. I felt like someplace here between my, my eyebrows, that tool, the not the stapler, but the other one that removes the staple, I felt like something here would pop open and go Puck, and just release. And then almost like a soothing sensation all over my body would take over. And I would arrive at this sense of everything is fine. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know the exact conditions, but I know that all is well, all is good, all is perfect here and now. So that was my beginning. That was the start of my journey into the soul, back home. That is the, the one and only place where I now call my home. Because you see, we live in a world where nowadays we travel. We hop on a plane and we can go wherever we want. We don't even need to hop on a plane. We can just take our phones and we live in a digital era where you are able to see what's going on in LA, in Los Angeles, or here in Bolivia, or in Malaysia, or in Vietnam, or in Tokyo. So we have that capacity to continue to go outwards. And as much as we go outwards, the invitation is to remember to come back home, to go inwards. So I wanted to bring that reflection to you today. If you have maybe lost some important family members or some dear friends of yours to this pandemic, to this crisis of COVID. The invitation is there to not live in fear, but to embrace love. And what is love? It's that silence, that connection to your soul that lives within the moment you choose to close your eyes, the moment you choose to detach from the show, from the drama of life that is playing on outside from the fluctuations of the mind, as yoga, the yoga sutras remind us, what is the definition, the core definition of yoga, which yoga means union, is yoga chitta vritti nirodaha, which is to seize the fluctuations of the mind, to bring them to a halt, to bring them to alignment. And when we do that, when we are able to come back and align and live in coherence as Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza says, heart brain coherence, then our mind, our, our mental level is in sync with our emotional center, the mental center, the emotional center in one. And that commands our life. So I invite you, if you haven't yet done so, to find that silence, to make time in your life. Some people say, well, I don't have time to meditate. Meditation opens up time for you. So make it a priority in your life today. Find that place of silence. Close your eyes and just allow the breath to guide you. 
deeper and deeper. So let's do a practice right now. Close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders, maybe roll your head, your neck, whatever movements you need to make in order to arrive at a very comfortable place in your body and completely sigh it out. Empty your lungs, empty your lower belly. Soften your face, soften your jaw muscles. And from this place of emptiness, of void, take a deep breath in. Feeling your lower abdomen, your rib cage, all the way to the top of your clavicles. Hold it here. Exhale with sound through your mouth. <sighs> That's it. And we're going to do that two more times, just bringing ourselves to the present moment. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And when you are ready, sigh it out. Sinking deeper and deeper into the sensations of the body, to the physical space that you inhabit. One more deep breath in. Hold it. Exhale to release. That's it. Keep your eyes closed now. Keep your hands resting on your knees or on your thighs. Bring your awareness to your physical body. Soften the point between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw muscles. Relax your shoulders, your neck. Relax your whole body and just allow any tensions of the day, any thoughts, any worries, completely melt away as you feel your body nice and relaxed your spine tall, upright, giving permission and remaining receptive, remaining curious about your truthful essence. Who am I? That is the question here today. Who am I? Connect now with your breath, allowing your breath to be soft, to be natural. There is no need to control your breath. Simply allow your breath to be at its own pace, gentle, flowing. As you inhale, you can think inhale. And as you exhale, you can think exhale. And place your awareness, your concentration, your attention at the tip of your nose and follow the journey of your breath. At first, you might notice thoughts still happening, like clouds in the sky passing by. And just as those clouds pass, allow your thoughts to dissolve into the nothingness. No attachments. No need to control, knowing that it is the nature of the mind to create thoughts. And it is our ability to maintain the focus on the breath that opens up the portal for us to dive deep within. So follow your breath. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Going deeper and deeper into this sense of calmness, of stillness. There is nothing you need to do, nothing you need to achieve or prove to yourself, to anyone else, other than to be the loving witness of everything that is. Notice any emotions that might come up. Allow them to be. Notice any thoughts that might still come up. 
And as they come up, observe them, watch them, release them, let them go. Practicing non-attachment. We come closer and closer to the truth of who we are. The more we are able to surrender. Surrendering the needs, surrendering the wants, surrendering the shoulds and shouldn'ts. In this place of stillness, there is no past, there is no future, there is just the present moment. Every inhalation reminding us that we are receiving life, that we have the blessing of this one more breath. Every exhalation, a reminder that we are giving back life, that we die to every breath, to every outtake of breath. So inhale and exhale as a practice of death and rebirth, holding on to nothing, receiving everything that is needed for your sustenance. And you can stay here for as long as you want, just observing the flow of your breath. Noticing the perfection of this present moment. You have come this far. However your life has been, whatever adversities you've overcome, you are here now and you are taking this breath together with hundreds, thousands of people around the world with a deep sense of honoring who you are, with reverence for your soul, for your existence. Honoring your body, honoring your mind. Being grateful for everything you have experienced that has shaped who you are today. So as you sit in this moment of silence and introspection, I invite you now to place gratitude, to find that gratitude in your heart, perhaps for your family, for your friends, for the support network that you have, gratitude for work, perhaps for your colleagues, maybe even your boss. Gratitude for yourself, for the spiritual humble warrior that you are, for that fire that lives within, that yearns to know the truth of who you are. And sit with that feeling that's the feeling of abundance in your life. There is more than enough. You are full and overflowing. And you too are a light unto others. Breathe into that. Receive that. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it at the top of your lungs, exhale to release. Notice the deep sense of peace, alignment, centeredness. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Keep your eyes closed and now bring the palms of your hands to your heart. Left hand over your chest, right hand over top of the left. Taking a moment to acknowledge your heart. 
beating inside that chest, reminding you that there is still another chance. There is another rebirth every moment with every breath, an opportunity to choose you, to choose love, to choose peace. To allow and give yourself permission to feel and express, to live fully. And from this place, once again, take a deep breath in with me in this collective space of love, of humility, of trust and surrender. Gently bowing your head towards your hands in devotion. Now bring your hands together, palms touching, and take a moment to seal your practice today. Coming back home through adversity, finding resilience, the eternal reminder that all is well and life happens for you and through you so that you too can awaken and that you can shine your light onto others. Namaste. Thank you very much and thank you for tuning in to this video. I hope to hear from you. If you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe to this wonderful channel so that you get a lot more mindfulness in your life, so that you continue on your journey of discovering who you are, of reconnecting the parts of you, and that you can live a life full of joy, of happiness, as you deserve. My blessings to you. I'm Olivia, and if you want to find me, you can follow me on Instagram at oliviamercado.coaching. Happy to hear from you, happy to receive your messages, your feedback on this meditation. If you want more, let me know. I'm happy to be of service in love always. Namaste.